Hey everyone, it's BDC. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, today I'm doing a uh, short little preview on a small script package I wrote for Arma 3 about a year ago, um, at least the standalone version. Uh, the original version of this I used in the core mission uh, code of CO18 Resistance Plus, the uh, long-term co-op mission, campaign mission I've been working on for several years now. And um, I use this as the, uh, the back end for handling uh, AI moving uh, from server to headless clients and stuff like that. So this thing is called SC Framework, uh, short for Server Client Framework. And what it does is is it automatically moves uh, AI from uh, server uh, that have been spawned on the server or spawned in via Zeus operators over to either specific headless clients or automatically uh, to uh, headless clients. It supports up to six headless clients um, although I only have three connected on this mission right now. We're on the, the server right now. Um, it's Zeus compatible. I don't know if I already mentioned that or not. And uh, it's got a, a couple of cool features. So this one's made for the server admins and not necessarily for the players. I'll do a uh, demonstration here real quick. So I'm in Zeus. Uh, and I'm going to spawn in, let's see. Not that. I'd rather do groups of guys instead. So let's do... Let's do an HMG team, and let's spawn in some more garbage, blah, 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 stuff like that. Okay. Pressing F1 key, it's going to pull up a uh, server FPS report. And this is something that uh, uh, is done on the fly once every second. So I'm recording this video at a uh, slightly higher resolution than I normally do, uh, just so I can better show off uh, this uh, FPS report over here. Uh, this is something that would be configured for the admins, uh, and it's in a uh, it's in a small configuration file. There's in this package, there's I think five or six files off the top of my head. Um, one of them is uh, is a configuration one where you can set up a couple of Zeus options, some of the auto automatic offloading uh, numbers in there, um, variables like how many AI do you want to automatically offload to each headless client. Um, there's also something ca called a specific AI table. So if you spawn different types of groups in, um, they can be flagged. Um, and then they can go to specific headless clients. Uh, that's something I actually do in my uh, in my larger resistance mission. But uh, anyway, there's a an option in here for auto transfer Zeus op. Uh, you'll see it over there, Zeus operator AI, and that's for if you've got um, if you've got a Zeus operator that is uh, responsible for spawning in all of the bad guys on the map. Let's say. And what they, uh, what they can do is, is um, they can spawn it in and then have those groups that they uh, create get automatically shifted over to the server. And then the server will start autom um, automatically auto offloading them to the headless clients. But you can also disable that. I have it keyed as, I think, F2 on, the, on here, but I may have it disabled. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I do have it disabled, it looks like. You can configure that... Uh, that keystroke to whatever you want. You have to use the DIK codes on the uh, Arma 3 wiki as a uh, as a reference to find the key code that you want to use. Um, but basically, um, you can uh, disable that, and then you can have uh, you can have a, as a Zeus operator. You can spawn all those things in, and then when you've set all your waypoints and you set all the whatever you want to do with it, then you can re-enable it, and then however many seconds later, which is also configured um, on the uh, server end. Uh, it will start moving everything over to the server and then subsequently to headless clients. So the idea behind this um, ultimately is server and therefore client performance uh, because in Arma 3, the uh, uh, player client's uh, game FPS seems to be tied fairly directly to server performance and um, the main one being the server FPS and that's the guy at the uh, top of this uh, server uh, eight, um, headless client FPS report. I don't know if uh, you guys can see it clearly or not, but um, the challenge in Arma 3 is being able to manage larger scale amounts of, uh, of AI in battle. If we want to do large scale, um, large scale AI battles with a lot of people, uh, then the challenge is, is trying to get the server to be as efficient as possible. And one way to do that is to offload a lot of that uh, um, a lot of that CPU stuff to headless clients. And the, the way I normally set mine up is I do a batch file and I'll have 
uh, however many headless clients I'm going to run, it's usually either two or three, and I'll set them uh, to individual cores on the uh, server, one of the server CPUs I have, and then I'll start the server, the server executable 10 seconds later. Um, and so basically one of those server CPUs that I use that's reserved for gaming, each core will be a headless client and then a server process. So it's a, a better way of getting a better CPU and memory load distribution, if you will. So a quick demonstration. Um, I've got these guys right here. Actually, let me start with some uh, new guys instead. So I'll get out of this and I will re-enable the automatic thing. I guess F2 is tied to something else, so another key may have to be used. I'm just doing this for test purposes. So the auto transfer Zeus op AI uh, option is re-enabled, and it is set to move AI over automatically in 10 seconds. This is just a demonstration. Normally, you'd set it for 30 seconds to allow a Zeus operator, if they wanted to use this feature, to... Uh, um, to set waypoints and tasks and things like that before the stuff gets sent to the server and then they lose control of it. So let's see here. What do we have? We'll pop down some infantry groups. How about a bunch of weapon squad guys? Okay, and I'll copy them. Paste some more there. And we'll just get a ton of these dudes out here. And uh, we'll see how it runs. How about a recon team? And maybe, how about mechanized infantry for, where's it? There we go. I'll just do that. Okay. We'll come back out of here and look at the top right at the FPS report, and you'll see the numbers start to shifting. So on the bottom right, locally owned groups, um, O-Alpha 3.2, okay, it just got transferred to the server. It's on a 10-second timer. The server owns it, and now it's going to start moving and offloading stuff. It's already automatically moved all the other groups to headless client one and let's throw in how about some blue four guys uh armor i'm a tank destroyer section would be pretty cool um, a few of those guys and that might actually start the battle uh, not necessarily going for battle here but um, i'm more interested in uh, displaying the uh, the back end stuff that happens on this okay Currently have a bunch of blue four uh, groups that are locally owned. They're getting shift to the server. The server's got them. And now everything is moving over to headless clients. The first headless client looks to be full or full-ish. So now the second headless client is filling in. So basically this will daisy chain. Um, again, I have the target for active AI, um, or excuse me, for owned AI for each headless client at 100. But it goes by group, so it can spill over a little bit. You can get 100, 400, 500, 8 uh, kind of a thing. So basically it reads a, a target maximum, in this case of 100 or more. It says, okay, let's shift the group, uh, this group to the next headless client that's available. In this case, it'll be headless client 2. So as you can tell here, we've got, uh, let's see, how many active AI do we have? Um, 115 or so or something like that. Uh, the server and headless client FPS is still very high. Now some of that's going to be uh, relative to the machine setup that you've got for the server, uh, the CPUs. Uh, on this box I use uh, Intel Xeons. And uh, also I think some of it may have to do as well with the type of drive uh, that's used because uh, Arma pulls the hard drive quite a bit so it's preferred to obviously run on an SSD if you can. Um, but anywho, um, that's basically it. It's uh, pretty simple. Um, it's it's very configurable. There's quite a bit of stuff you can do on it, and uh, and basically that's uh, I think that's it. So if you like the video, hit the uh, like button and hit that subscribe. I'll be putting new content up all the time, and uh, hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for your time.